People forget how good 2018 Victor Oladipo really was, for real. In 2018, Victor Oladipo was among the best players in the NBA. He led a Pacers team with no expectations to the fifth seat in the East with 48 wins, and he would win most improved player this year. And what was really impressive was that this Pacers team was the biggest threat to the 2018 Cavaliers, because that Pacers team took them to seven games in the playoffs in the first round. Now for some context, in the 2017 offseason, the Indiana Pacers traded away Paul George to the Oklahoma City Thunder in exchange for Victor Oladipo as well as DeMontis Sabonis. And immediately, Oladipo was the clear-cut star for the Indiana Pacers. After years of being a secondary player, Oladipo was a scorer that could isolate any defender and bully his way to the rim using his strong frame despite being only 6'3". Oladipo was a great defender this year with him leading the NBA in steals and he was a good spot up shooter too. Now as I mentioned from the jump, the Pacers 2018 season would end after losing to the Cavs after pushing them to 7 games in the first round. And that was with Victor Oladipo averaging almost 23 points, 8 rebounds, 6 assists with almost 2.5 steals. Unfortunately, as I think many of us know, Oladipo was never able to reach his 2018 self again due to him struggling with constant injuries which has led him to go from team to team ever since and basically be a journeyman. But hey, don't just take all this from me, take it from Larry Nance Jr. himself with him saying that 2018 Victor Oladipo was one of the hardest players he's ever had to guard. 